Welcome back to It's Benji World. And today we have seafood. We just have, uh, are these colossal king crab legs? Or I think they're colossal king crab or king crab legs, both of those. I'm really hungry. I did not even uh, want to film a video, but it's like, okay, I thought I, I'm gonna eat the seafood. I might as well make a video. I'm so hungry. Um, you know, I've been eating good, you guys. So sometimes I need more than a, like I'm just so cautious about what I'm eating. I don't know like what to eat, what not to, you know. I'm just really hungry <laughs> and I was not about to make a video, but I did not want to waste my seafood either. Like just, you know, just eating it. I didn't want to make waste this nice seafood. So when I want, you know how the bee love sauce is so delicious. When I want um, quick, like I don't want to dip the bee love sauce. I literally just pour the seasoning. Like I cook my corn and my potato, my uh, my corn and my eggs, but I didn't eat. No, I didn't make eggs this time. But I make my corn and then I let it boil low, and then I and then I put the seafood, the crab on top, and then I just dump her uh season on top of it and with butter inside of the water so now it's nicely seasoned and i don't have to dip but sometimes i like to dip but it ain't gonna be today i see it let me get a silent prayer in here thank you jesus oh guys I, was, I got those weenies in there to do the little weenie competition. Or competition. Challenge. That's what I was going to do tonight, but I was so hungry. I knew that wasn't going to help. That wasn't going to work. Mm. Okay. So today, I just basically just have all these crab legs and some um, corn. That's all I wanted. I don't want to make no egg. I did buy some um, mussels today to have when my brother um, comes so we can do our video. I didn't want none of that. I just want some quick and to the point. All I wanted was I'm hungry. You guys, I've been eating a lot of salad, salad, salad and a lot of that cabbage um, soup. And they're snacking here and there, so I don't know. It's just kind of caught up to me tonight. I'm just hungry. And I thank the Lord that I have food. Thank you, Jesus. Um, let me just eat for a little bit, and then I'm going to start talking. I'll talk about something in a second. Look at this pretty color. Mm. Mm. I think I like the flavor of a snow crab better. I'm not sure. Didn't I say that before? I'm not sure if I said that. These was too pretty for me to pass up. I seen them in my local seafood department. At my local store. And I just had to get it. Eat some of this corn. It's kinda hot, so
could die. I'm trying to see if my boo gonna pay attention to me. <laughs> ooh, ooh, child. <sighs> if I'm not talking, that's just what it is. If I'm not talking, oh, but I do have something I do want to talk about, but I am tired this is i'm oh i'm filming this at night and i'm kind of tired so i really don't want to mess up my um shirt <laughs> come on thick baby Oof. Come on. There comes. Get in there. I'm sorry, I'm coming really into this. <laughs> I told you guys I was hungry. And now I'm going to talk about a movie. Which I need my phone for. And my hair is dirty. I'm going to get up in there. I'll see that. So this past weekend, I did go shoot my sister's wedding. I photographed their wedding, and I actually did a good job. I wasn't, I was having anxiety on the way there, but I kept having to tell myself, you know, this is her day, it has nothing to do with you. No one's looking at you. No one's caring about what you're doing and how you're doing it. <laughs> Take the damn pictures. My um, juice is in here. My, um, I got some crystal light in here. Should I guess I'm washing this off now? I actually have a few more pieces in the water. Yeah, I think this is colossal cream clap and then just cream clap. The colossal I'm good on. Because it tastes good, but it doesn't taste like, I don't know how to explain it. Like it, it looks prettier than it. It just, it, mm. something shit mm, something mm. this part got a lot of me now I wish I can zoom y'all got you guys in so everything was good like I said when we I don't know if I finish this thought so I'm gonna finish it because I'm not sure if I finish it but everything went good as far as me taking the um, pictures at the wedding. My sister looks, looks gorgeous. And now I have to 
not be a procrastinator and not be a bad sister and edit her pictures. <sighs> so yeah. I could just give her the raw images and tell her, hey, here you go. <laughs> but I mean, if I have the skill to edit them, why not do it? so like two weeks people keep mentioning babies and weddings and babies and weddings I'm like you know what it would I wouldn't mind but I also like my freedom I also like doing what I want to do how I want to do it not worrying about you know am I gonna feed me or a damn or a child Even with the craziness going on, if I feel like, oh, I want to go to Vegas right now, well, I can just, I can just go. I literally can just go. Like I don't have to work. Like I don't have to worry about anything. Like I can call sick from work, or I can plan out in a couple of weeks and go. Like I don't have to worry about child care. I mean, I know there's a lot of benefits in having a child. Like the fact that you're, you know, you have somebody to love, but I mean, I love a lot of people, so I don't know. What is the benefit of having a child? Like, seriously, leave it in the comment below. Outside of somebody that you deeply care about, like you'll feel a love that you've never felt before. Outside of that, what's the actual benefit of having a child? What, they can take care of you when you get older? But that's not guaranteed because some kids are assholes. You think you're raising an angel, you're raising an asshole. Actually, I want to know. For people who have kids, you know, who've had kids, who've got grown kids, little kids, what's the actual benefit of having a child? You don't think people have children for selfish reasons? Just because they want to be loved? They want somebody to need them? I wonder. This is just me thinking out loud. I'm not saying I don't want any children. I do. But I was just wondering. That just popped up in my head, the question. normally have children to like populate the earth you know but the earth is already overpopulated to continue your legacy I guess but I mean you're dead so who cares about your legacy why would you care about something when you're, you're gone and then there's so much responsibility Like you literally have to make sure you're not raising or a killer or a horrible person. And then even no matter how good you raise your child, that's not guaranteed. You know? I don't know. That just popped in my head. Tell me. Tell me the benefits.
from a person who doesn't have children to plenty of people who do. Good down in the comment section, tell me. <sighs> okay. So, I was watching Netflix the other day. And I watched a really good movie. A really good movie. First, I gotta remember what the name of the movie was. <laughs> All I know, it was a star and an Asian girl. That's all I remember. Uh. Do you remember that show I was watching the other day? Oh, here we go. It's called The Half of It. Okay, so let's read the little bio thingy. So Netflix called The Half of It. It's the 2021. It actually says on here it's a 66% match for me, meaning that I wouldn't like it. But then again, I've never really used my Netflix account. My mother does, so. When, when smart but crush strapped teen, oh. My goodness, can I read? When smart but cash-strapped teen Ellie Chu agrees to write a love letter for a jock, she doesn't expect to become his friend or fall for his crush. Well, yeah, that's pretty much what happens. It's a good movie. Good pacing. Good character development. Um, it's like a coming of age story. So, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. If you plan on watching the movie, you don't want to hear this part because I'm just going to break it down because I don't think it's, it's not very complex. So you got an Asian girl. Only get Asian girl and it's all white town. And the reason why I say all right white town because... Um, it is because I, I see uh, I saw not one black person in the movie not even in the background not even in the background and Greece that old ass movie had black people in the background they didn't even have no black people in the background but anywho in an all white town only Asian person and she's only there because her dad had like a masters or something in engineering and he was went there to get a job to do planes planes trains trains but the dad couldn't speak english so he didn't get the position that he's actually trained for but anywho so now he like does he does a switchboards or something but he's so depressed that he really doesn't take care of the family miss um miss out uh, miss uh ellie does is it Ellie? Ellie does. So basically, she she's one of those kids that actually takes care of. The, she's the parent, and the and the parents the child kind of thing. Um, I want to get into this. So she does stuff for she uh writes class um writes a lot of people essays and papers and stuff for class in the school for Kai because um. The light bill, this bill got to be paid, that bill got to be paid. So that's why she does that. Because the dad just doesn't, this is, the dad is just deprived. The dad's out of it. So, uh, anyway, this guy comes up. He's like, can you write me a love letter for such and such? And she's like, who? Nah, I can't write a love letter to that. I don't do love letters. I'm not doing all that. These are my words. Of course, they weren't talk speaking like this. It's a movie. These are my words. Translate them as you see fit in your head. Basically, she said she's not doing all that. But then again, but then she realized uh, a bill is due. So, come on, let's do this one time thing. So she she already likes the the okay. She so the thing is she's gay. And she already likes the girl, but 
um she doesn't know she doesn't even know what's going on with what like all she's trying to do is go to school get home go to school and get home that all she's trying to do and get up out that town actually yeah um um so anyway she's a brilliant writer the girl basically falls in love with the person writing the the stuff but the one the popular girl that both of these people two people like the jock and the guess some quote unquote nerd but she's not really a nerd she just so happens to be smart um like she that that girl is actually very nice very humble very pretty she's not a mean girl she's she's just one of those girls that just have to be popular because she's pretty and she just does what she's told she's dating a, a very nar narcissistic um popular guy who's so into himself he doesn't even have time to be mean because he's so into himself well anyway one letter one love letter turns into multiple love letters turns into text messages and dates and stuff like that um and the jock and ellie who's the main character the asian girl become friends because it just so happens that this town actually has nice, genuine, genuine people. But the guy is super, super nice too. What happens is, let me skip through some stuff. But, you know, the the um, popular girl that. That's both of their crush. Um, is a, she ends up liking whoever's writing the letter. That's who she ends up falling in love with. But she thinks it's the guy. So she's just going, you know, she's been on a few days with him. She's just going with that. But she kind of has interest in um, Ellie as well. But nobody is who they say that they are in the um, movie. Everybody is trying to be somebody that they're not. So Ellie is trying to be not homosexual. And um, the jock is trying to be, um, he wants to do something with his family. He wants to switch up his family business, but he's very um, reluctant because of how his family is. And the young girl, the crush, she is um, very pretty, but like her father is telling her, she, you're going to get married this, you're going to wear this, you're just how you're going to act. So everybody's not who they truly want to be. But anyway, don't want to give everything away, but the, the job, no, nobody really gets what they want out of the, out of every, out of the situation. And nobody really gets hurt too, too bad. Like, they get hurt, but like, you know, it's bearable. Everybody at the end is okay. But nobody really gets what they want. But anyway, you gotta watch it. It's a good movie. Like I said, it's on Netflix. It's a Netflix original. And I've kind of held y'all. A little long talking about this. I'm gonna try to put some images on it up on the screen, but let me see what Google's saying. It's actually got some funny parts in it too. Well, it has a lot of funny parts in it. Let me see what Google said. I watched it. I can't even freaking do it. Oh, Rotten Tomatoes are 97%. That's good. Google users like it 91%. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Let me see what their uh, little so not the little uh, thing of it is. A shy, introverted student helps the, the school jock woo a girl whom secretly they both want. Okay, yeah, that's kind of it. I like it. It's a good little story. It's a good little story. But I'm going to finish this off camera because I just, I don't want to be here forever and a day and, and thousands of years. You guys. Check out my Fab Five. We got that eating good, that Jazzy V, that Hooger to the Hood, and kicking it with Land. They're in the description bar below. I'm going to get out of here because I'm tired and I'm about to finish this food. All right. I know it's abrupt, but I'll see you guys soon. All right. Bye.